Welcome to the Hope Community Church vlog, episode number 31, 32. It's a lot. Uh, my name's Matt and uh, I'm going to be carrying on our little series in Philippians, um, which is this letter the Apostle Paul wrote to a church that he loves deeply. And uh, we've just got to a section where he's giving some examples of people who are, who are living out the Christian life that he's calling them to. Examples of people who are, who are shining like stars. And what he's doing is he's sending these people to the Philippians that they might be encouraged by them. And so yesterday we looked at Timothy, Paul's closest friend, his, his son in the faith, he calls him. Today we're going to look at a man called Epaphroditus and see what we can gain from this little passage. So chapter 2, verse 25. But I think it is necessary to send back to you Epaphroditus, my brother, co-worker, and fellow soldier, who is also your messenger, whom you sent to take care of my needs. Just pause there. Look how he describes him. Brother, co-worker, colleague, and fellow soldier. Doesn't that sum up what the Christian life is all about? brother we're family we're family we are brothers and sisters that means we might fight but we're loyal to one another we stick up for one another we seek to spend time with one another and encourage one another co-worker colleague we've got a job to do we're not just here for the fun of it we're not on a pleasure cruiser we've got a job to do so we, we work together, we, we put our gifts to task for the building of God's kingdom and building up of God's people. We work hard for one another towards a greater purpose. But then thirdly, soldier, we're in a war. We're part of the army of God that's claiming this world for Jesus. Brother, co-worker, fellow soldier, that's Epaphroditus, is that you? It is, it is you. Uh, who is also your messenger whom you sent to take care of my needs. So the Philippians had sent Epaphroditus to Paul who's in prison. For he longs for all of you and is distressed because you heard he was ill. Okay, that's interesting. Indeed he was ill and almost died. But God had mercy on him. And not only on him, but also on me to spare me sorrow upon sorrow. And again, it's worth pointing out the humanity of Paul. Like he's not some uppity, um, like religious, maybe Pope figure who, who kind of is, feels a bit like distant. He, he deeply loves Epaphroditus. If Epaphroditus dies, he would be gutted. He'd be torn in two, sorrow upon sorrow. Therefore, I'm all the more eager to send him so that when you see him again, you may be glad and have less anxiety because the Philippians are worried about him. So then, welcome him in the Lord with great joy and honour people like him because he almost died for the work of Christ. He risked his life to make up for the help you yourselves could not give me. Paul's wanting to show what it means to shine like stars in the night sky. What we see in Epaphroditus is someone who is willing to work his socks off. Someone who is even going to put his own body on the line for the gospel. And I'm not saying you need to work yourself until you're sick. We don't overwork. We need a theology of rest, of Sabbath. But he cares more about the work of the gospel than he does about himself. He is going to graft and graft until someone tells him to stop. He's a true labourer, a servant. It's fascinating, Epaphroditus, isn't it? And look what Paul says. Welcome him in the Lord with great joy and honour people like him. Honour people like him because he almost died for the work of Christ. We're all equal in God's eyes. But Paul says honour people who've suffered hardship for the gospel. You know, in our current world, the Christian superheroes are the worship leaders. And, and worship leaders are great. 
I follow him like you do. But in God's eyes, the heroes are often unspoken, unsung. They're the Christians in Eritrea who are in metal containers locked up because they're Christians. In North Korea, who are having to meet in secret for fear of persecution. They're the Christians who have suffered and we need to honour them. We can pray for them. We can give to, to charities that support um, persecuted church. We need to honour them. Like Paul tells the Philippians to honour Epaphroditus. And maybe look out actually for those in our church family who are working hard in difficult circumstances and maintaining their witness. We need to honour them. The Christian heroes are not always the ones who are up on the front of the stage. And so we're going to move on to chapter three next week. But let me just leave you with this. These are just normal people. Normal people who wanted to live for Jesus. I wonder if that could be you. Normal people who want to live and give everything for Jesus. Would you do that? Bless you guys.